What's up guys? Steamy here and finally welcome to a vlog. <laughs> I have Valencourt here. I'm holding the phone. He's very kindly helping me because the microphone picks up my breathing really easily and I currently am slowly getting over some kind of sore throat so I'm a bit squeaky and shite. Me holding the phone won't you use <coughs> that? Shite! So, a pew, a <laughs> Please excuse the sound of the panting dog. That is just steamy. <laughs> She's got a hay fever and a cold and winter's... F well, autumn's finally arrived in the UK. Yeah. So, first off, before we get to showing why there, the, this is a particular blog instead of a normal recording, I would like to apologise for there not being any videos for, like, a m over a month now. Something like that. Yeah. We had a small rodent invasion in our home. But that has now been dealt with. They're the all dead and in our They're walls. They're all dead. We tried to do it humanely and they just weren't interested in the traps. We tried different types of bait and they just weren't interested. So we had to get a professional in, unfortunately, to deal with them. So... So we're really hoping they're all fucking gone. <laughs> Otherwise I'm taking the walls apart to get at them. They've been living in, we live in a flat, and they have been living in between the cavity between our upstairs neighbour's floor and our ceiling, because there's like a six inch gap or something. If not more. Yeah. So it's, it's, they've not, it's not been like, t it's not been like a total catastrophe. There's only been like a small family, if that, living there. But they were using my desk as a hidey hole, so I didn't want to record because um they'd be running around your toes they'd be, yeah, they'd be running around my toes, and they can spread some very very <laughs> dangerous diseases some very fatal diseases, you yeah. know your lungs filling, your organs failing, that kind of shit yeah, they they spread one that's very much like pneumonia, but it comes from like mouse. Droppings, urine, and saliva, but that's very rare. Blood as well, if you accidentally step on one. Yeah. Anyway, so, enough I, of our yeah. hopefully <laughs> over problem now, and on to the loot from... Yes, while, while we have been away and not recording, however, um, Asylum Festival, the, the Asylum Steampunk Festival in Lincoln has happened, and we went to it, obviously, because we now go every year and shall we explain what our costumes were first no go through the loot and then okay. show the costume pieces right so the loot we got as always we normally we spend a day there shopping and then the, and then another day we go to one of the concerts which is time travelers uh so we picked up some of the specifically the bands that were their badges, and we've got this one. It says, Sinning is Winning, and this one. From the same band. From the same band, which is a really nice pin. It's just huge, called Victor and the Bully. They're an amazing band. If you like, I don't know, rock, I guess? I don't fucking know. I didn't even start listening to music until I was like 13. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, they're a great band. Go listen to them. Some of their songs are on YouTube. There might be a, dis a link in the description below, if I yeah. remember. They're a great band. Uh, we haven't heard them before, and I friggin' love them. They're we awesome. We haven't heard of them before, neither. We, we took some of my other family members and stuff with us this year, and I got my middle sister, because I have a younger sister, like an even younger sister than that, I got my my middle sister is now kind of addicted to them, <laughs> and, and she she was more into like I don't know dance type. I don't know. Rap and dance. I'm too old. Yeah. She's a teenager. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So we got Sinning is winning and the Victor and the Bully back pin badges, which are awesome. They're an event, isn't it? And then we got from another band. Well, not a band. A musician. A musician. This pin. Oops. I don't know. 
with you. No, you're not going to be able to read what it says on there. It says Alice's Night Circus, who is also a steampunk musician. Hey, it focused um, at last. Oh, it did. You can read it now. It's a um, she's she's an amazing singer. I actually a lot of the song some of the songs are now on YouTube because when we originally heard her, which was the first year we went, she didn't really have many of her songs up on YouTube. But she finally released an album, which we'll get to later. <laughs> Um, and she, I, I believe it's her, if not, then someone's put her, some of her music up on YouTube. I also recommend her, she, she is awesome. She has some awesome costumes as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm just cameraing here, badly, because I have shaky ass, like, old man hands. <laughs> okay, and then we got... Wait! Wait, what? Do you got another thing from Alice? Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, well... Just do it. You did the Victor and the Bully things together. Yeah. Okay. I got this, which is like a... 1950s... 1950s? I don't know. I wasn't alive like a working then. woman... Yeah. ...style it's headband. World War Two kind of. With her symbol on it. She designed it all herself. Alice, because it's from... Alice is Night Circus again, and it's awesome, and it's cute, and I love it. <laughs> you have to wear it, though. I wore it for a few minutes, but I need to let my hair down, and I don't like having my hair down. I have worn this hat longer, and I've only owned this hat for a matter <laughs> of 12 hours. Well, maybe I want to keep it safe. It's precious. Precious, precious. My, okay. hat's, my new hat's better. Shall I move on to this stuff, then? On to the third band. On to the third band, which... As always, is Steam Power Giraffe, <laughs> my favourite band at the minute. We have been back We've three been back. times. I finally got hold of a badge set because they're normally sold out by the time we actually get either two of them or the night. <coughs> Look at these guys. Adorable. He's not so happy. The spine. Zero is super happy. Rabbit. And rabbit. Happy-ish, but she can't be all goofy. And then there's him. Steve. Bug nose and whatever's going on that's there. That's the Walter Workers. I know, but that's not a particular Walter Worker, so... <laughs> and then there's the people who made... Walter Robotics. The symbol. robots. Yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. So yeah, we got to see them again this year. They are, as well, as far as we know, they are, unfortunately... <laughs> Mum, buy me this. They are unfortunately not going to be able to come back next year, which is sad. Hopefully they'll be able to come back soon because I'd love seeing them live and I can't afford to go over to America. <laughs> Probably there might be a link below, but there's uh, one right there if you want to type that in. They are awesome. They're yeah. also on YouTube. Lots of stuff. Yeah, there are lots of stuff on YouTube. They've even got some past concerts and yeah. stuff on They recently YouTube. celebrated their... 10th year, year anniversary. Same with Asylum, actually. Asylum, it was the 10th year, year anniversary for that as well. Yeah. And then we also got this pin badge from them. Which Focus, it, you piece of shit. It's not focusing. There, there we go. It is. Ooh, it's so shiny. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, yeah. There we go. That shiny, that shiny it's, pin it's got its place on the pin thing now. That shiny pretty pin badge, that's mine. <laughs> These little silly plastic pin badges, they're hers. <laughs> That's mine. That has. Classy. Acting like a teenager. Grown up. Immature as bitch. <laughs> well, you finished. Yeah, I'm good. So, yeah. Absolutely loved seeing them again. Would love to have them back. <laughs> Hopefully. Shall I just do the CDs now? CDs now. I spent like 60 quid on CDs. <laughs> yeah. Because I got a couple of Steam Powered Giraffe ones that I don't have, which is... The Two Cents Show. With, With an old original band rabbit. And the one of the original band members it's who was... Blurry. You piece of shit. Who was <laughs> gone now. Okay, so we've done The Two yeah. Cents Show. And then I got... Album One. Which is their first album? Yeah. The, the numerical. Yeah, yeah, they are. I derped for a moment. We are good. The early versions, he looks like the mask. Well, New Rabbit's so much better. 
and that guy. He's pretty cool, but he went a while yeah. back. And then we got uh, their third album, which I was also missing. Hey. <laughs> Look at these three. And then I have a Victor and the Bully CD, which is called Deathbed Confessions, which I find hilarious. Look how fancy that is. With with titles such as Every Fight is a Food Fight for a Cannibal. <laughs> hey, you, scratch my nose. I'm holding a phone. On the side, on the side. That's his glasses up. I'm tapping. Bit further up. Great. Ah, oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> and her debut album. Oh, this is nice. Night Circus. Circus. Metamorphose. You know, if you don't come up with a title with an O, she's going to be fucked for that symbol, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, I just realised that. <laughs> yes, maybe. So, that was... A, that wasn't that was even my... the shopping spree. That was just the concert loot. That was sun, Sunday night time travellers loot. And then, okay, right. We'll continue on with the badge theme. So... More stuff. I got this brooch, which is an octopus. Is that green or black? It is black. We'll Can't just go around gray. calling octopuses black. I mean, demonetized if they ever paid us. It's wrong with you <laughs> tonight, seriously. It's late and I've got an awesome hat on. Shut up. I'm going to put this hat at the end of the video. Fine. So, yeah, I got a cute little octopus pendant because next year I'm intending to go as. Is it a crack? Is it a brooch? Or is it's it a, a pendant? It's a brooch. Well, then, so sweet. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, because next year I'm intending to go as, like, octopus slash sea themed. Tentacle hunter, in other words. No! I know. I have a giant octopus on the way. I will make a short vlog video of it when I get it because I'm so excited for it. I bought this for our son because even though he hates spiders, he likes spiders. Well, the real ones are kind of gross, but they are a fascinating it's, it's... creature. It's a very, very pretty brooch again. Yeah. And then I got my own medal this year. I didn't get one this year because it was again, special. An octopus. It's Do -do. blue, but the te the colour correction just went all funky. The I ribbon, the me. ribbon. Ooh. There we go. The ribbon is blue. See. See. Although it keeps going black because it keeps trying to correct it for me more red. Stupid thing. And then I also got this, which is from Dr. Goff. Jeff. Jeff Goff. I don't know. I don't know. More octopuses, is it? except this is. He is the gentleman that started the tea debate. Yes. But this is the Sky Kraken. Isn't it cute? I think it'll be better in red. It's an air kraken, isn't it? It's an air kraken. <laughs> it also has, like... It has his artwork and I think that's yeah it's his artwork yes it's just a non cutesy variety of it he also has a small webcomic called Gimp Man or something yeah that's a whole bunch of random ass fake information for the preservation oh of... should we explain what the um where is it that stands for although I can't really remember well it's probably it it's the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Abominable Monsters. There we go. <laughs> I remember yeah. that entirely, I swear. So, there he is. Oh. <laughs> you ain't gonna know how much I spent on it. Dr. Goaf.co.uk. He yep. has a website. Yep. I don't know well, if he's gonna sell more of these. We have his art in our kitchen right now. We do have, like, three pieces of art in of his <laughs> art. And then we can go straight from this Dr. Goaf, Jeff, whatever, onto the next Dr. Jeff bit. He designed the passport. Oh yeah, the passport. Ta-da! This year, we got a passport that we could take round to different places and we could stamp. Uh, the people who bought a, the Decade Pack, which was like a special edition, got like a proper leather... A leather-bound one. A like leather-bound one. Yeah. But what what does this, this mean? I got this one. I don't know. No Kraken below this line. 
Well, yeah. So we we must we, be cracking on. In the day that we were there, we only managed to find two of the places, which was the place where you pick up your ticket, and uh, Doctor Goff's or Joff. Or Jeff. No Jeff. The the <laughs> stage stall. had one at the start. Did the stage have our? Oh, I noted it, but I didn't want to harass you because we were being, we were uh, yeah. going around with L family. What's this? This is some shit name. Yeah, I haven't filled that out or anything yet. But there we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Pocket watches. <laughs> we got some more pocket watches this year. Surprise, Leave my surprise. Co- we'll do my costume one at the end. Yeah. Well, not at the so, end. So, but... this is one I sneakily went and bought Valencourt while he wasn't paying attention. Because I leave the woman with the money. Right, these, both of these aren't wound up. I don't know if that... Yours is ticking. Is it? I haven't wound it in ages. Well, yours is ticking. Tick tock, motherfuckers. See? It's super pretty. Open it up, because the case is very... The case is minimalist, and you can see through. Yeah. But it's very pretty. I do like minimalist stuff. I'm not one fan. That's why I found it, but, well... There's the back of it as well. The back of it's got a she bit more decoration. You can also see it's working and stuff. But you can see it's all flicking around and There's stuff. There's a chain. Yes, I need to get a new, <laughs> I need to get a new chain for one but of yeah. my others. That's that's your pocket watch, which I found you. Yes. You purchased. I did. For me, otherwise I'd probably come home with like nothing. Yeah. And then this one is my pocket watch that I found, which isn't quite as minimalistic, but the shape is fascinating. Well, I'll admit, the sh- although the shape is traditionally a It lot. isn't silver, it's just black and shiny. Is that a cap in the middle? Yes! It's hexagonal, which is normally more of a cyberpunk thing, but because it's very ornate, it's yeah. appropriate. So when you open it, you can see some of the the inner workings of the clock. Well, this one Mine is wound. not wound because I put it in a bag... To one side, because we have already tried recording this video once, which is another reason why things have been late. Because my phone's memory, well, my memory card corrupted all of its data. Luckily, Valencourt managed to save my pictures from the event. <laughs> yes, we were uh, apparently put out financially and to repair it. There we go. Ticking. You're picking it up by the knob on the top. No, I was picking it up by that. Which way do I wind it? Not that way. That way. Yeah. But if you're going to wind it, wind it regularly, because otherwise you're going to fuck it up. Right, well... <sighs> there we go, I've wound it. Let's see if it is ticking. There you go. Look how smooth that motion is. I really like the um, hands that they've used. I need to scratch my nose again. But on the <laughs> oh inside. God. I ain't scratching the inside of your nose. Oh, my nose. It's <clears> so <throat> itchy. Uh, uh. My feet are going numb because I can't sit cross-legged anymore. Well, we're almost through. Good, because I'm going to fall over in a second. But yeah, that was the pocket watch. And then um, I got a necklace. It requires minor repairs. Yeah. But it's a nautical necklace with green shit on it. Look. Mm, this, this bit down here. It's a steering wheel, so I can drive her crazy. Oh. Yeah. Obviously, as planned for my costume for next year. If we can get it sorted. Right. What's next, Jeeves? Well, we'll move on to your costume pieces. My costume pieces. Okay, so this year I went as Lady Mableton. And if you don't know who Lady Mableton is, it is in fact Mabel from Gravity Falls. It's just the name that she picks for her fake ID. And I thought, I'll go with that. (laughs) So I went as Mabel. I bought a little brooch thing with her rainbow on it to wear on my corset and... It slid on because it's like a um, beret kind of thing. Yeah. Um, 
da, 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 da. I had a scarf tied around my hip slash waist, in like a waist. gypsy style yeah. thing that also had shooting stars on it, because her symbol is a shooting star. Um, I just realised my headband's missing. But I had a headband, I don't know where it is, that was like pink and purple gradient. It kept like, yeah, gradients. It was a gradient and it was sparkly. And it's sparkly. And you put some cogs on it. And I glued some cogs and some gems on it because she likes bejeweling everything. Or is it? Does she call it bejeweling or something else? I think it might she be bedazzling. Bedazzling, maybe. Yeah. Not bedazzling. <laughs> yeah, that was my brooch. I also have here the third journal that Dipper carries around with him but I made a book holder and I hung it off my bag. It is unfortunately denim but it's the only fabric that I could work with. So this I was decorated it as well. Handmade in one evening one panicked evening. It's kinda of shit a couple but of nights before it looks nice event. from a distance. Yeah. But if you get close works. you can see like the glue marks and is that cardboard under there? Or is it just fabric? It's cardboard that I've wrapped in fabric, but it's the really stiff cardboard that we got that had the storage boxes in. Chinese. <clears throat> yeah. The big these ham. are these are the jewels. These are the jewels that I used to um, decorate my I headband. I got to the other But corner. it was a smaller one. Okay. Another More of the jewel is big hand. There's a screenshot, because people will know what that is. Yeah. Some people will, anyway. Okay. I'll, I'll actually pull it out and show everybody here. There, yeah. look. Cardboard. 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 <laughs> but nobody could see. But it actually has, like... Blank pages. <laughs> the wrong page to Great turn it on, but it's full. It's literally everything that was in the third journal. Let's find one of the creatures to show. Uh, ghosts. Oh yeah, there's one. The undead. This is the one from, from the very first episode. Yep. <laughs> I love Gravity Falls. It's my favourite cartoon. I'm not sure if it if Steven Universe overtakes it yet. No, man. Oh, small man, Norman. And this is the character Steamy was dressed up as. Yeah. But I I have older. naturally brown hair. Well, older and a bit chunkier. You don't, she had a sweet tooth. You have no idea how <laughs> in which way she's going to put on as an adult. Smile dip. Smile dip. <laughs> you look nice today. This is some kind of horrible joke. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's even got when uh, Dipper took over in the book. As well, there's uh, Bill Cipher Dipper. Bipper. Bipper. And then some more stuff in the back, not wanting to give away spoilers. This is important for people to see. It's not Focus. Focus. Oh. There we go. Don't think too hard about it. That was important. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was my book. It comes with a cover over it that had Disney and... I've forgotten the... Alex Hirsch. Alex Hirsch. Alex Hirsch, Alex. Alex Hirsch is like wrote and little... Wrote and... Oh my God. I tell it's I'm breaking. I'm breaking. But it's got like little inserts from him and stuff. And then it has the blueprints for the machine. I'm not going to give more information about that, but you will know what I'm on about if you've seen it. Technically, it should be in the middle of the book, but hey. <laughs> I don't think they release more than the third journal. That's a shame. It never, re Yeah, but the other ones never really went into detail of what was in them, really, besides the machine page. True. So. Okay. And my first proper attempt... A steampunk in a gun, as well. Slash Mabel firing it. Slash Mabel firing it. That was the challenging part, was 
trying to get a good balance of the two. It's of them. the kissing practice. No, it's kissing practice, not the kissing practice. Well, if it's a legendary weapon, it has to have a the at the beginning. So, yep, kissing, kissing practice. practice. I got a couple of compliments for my gun while I was there. I also got some adva uh, advice on how to like weather it and stuff as well. It was a first attempt. I mean, yeah. You had no idea what you were doing. No. So I think you did really well. Yeah, I really love the, the metal. Kissing practice. As a reference to the first episode again. Yes. Got a little bow on it. Isn't that cute? Although I did say, think that the bejeweling of the muzzle of the gun made it a, a look a little bit like the Infinity Shotgun instead. <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet, but as a shotgun. I am tempted, because I've seen on... Wish is an app that's kind of like a marketplace, but for like cheap... Knockoff br knock brand, crap. brand crap. I've seen on there, there's like a tiny little grappling hook without anything attached to it. I am tempted to get it and glue it down the top barrel. Grappling hook! Firstly, you'd have to put it down the bottom barrel. Should I explain this reference? It is the first episode. It is the first episode. She... She gets a boyfriend. Sort of. And she decides that she needs to practice her kissing skills. So she sticks a picture of said boyfriend onto a leaf blower and has it set to, like, suck, I guess. Yeah, but she puts it on, like, super strong and it gets yeah, stuck on her face. Yeah, and it gets stuck on her face and she later on uses it for things. Things to do with battling enemies, so... It's what it's a reference to, and then I've got the little bow up here, which I think is a really cute touch. I think so too, but please, <laughs> let's wrap this up my leg as yes, well. Yes, 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 yes. Right, next, your costume, explain it. My costume, I was a state alchemist from Full Metal Alchemist. My costume did, however, come in far too big, and I looked a little bit like a child in a dress-up costume. You look like MC Hammer Pants. yes. It didn't work. I looked stupid. I'm wholly aware. <laughs> you did not look stupid. It looked okay. It. You kind of couldn't tell because of the smock thing that was yeah. over the legs anyway. But it, because it's <coughs> kind of steampunk and they all carry this particular item, I purchased one of these. A State Alchemist pocket watch. It is, however... A full metal alchemist branded one. So yeah. if you pop it open, sweetie. Boop. It has. Oh. You're gonna need to turn it like this. Yeah. Don't forget the third of oct eleven eleven. Yeah. Which is engraved in the uh, protagon one of the protagonists. You on this pocket one watches. Either. It doesn't well, need winding. It's battery powered. I just realised. Dingle. <laughs> Dingo. Yeah, he was. You were a state alchemist, weren't yes. you? I thought it would be a good costume. Then it came in too big, and then we made well, we, a, we, a rash of of uh, alterations to it. Yeah. It didn't come out too bad, but there were a, a few bit. issues. But yeah. So yeah, that was that. You don't really have anything else. You had a walking stick that has a telescope in the top of it. Yes. I then glued a necklace. It, it was, was a technically necklace. a necklace to it that had like a the red, red stone orange? on it. Yeah, the, the red, red stone, stone that it. was given to the alchemists at some point in the series. It's yeah. a, the series is like nearly a decade old, I think. So yeah, but I still don't want to ruin it for any young uns oh. out there. Um, this wasn't relevant to this year, but it's something I've done. For you, yeah, or at least started. So put it down um, so people can see. So if I start waving the camera around, you're gonna start cursing this my name. This is like a v vintage toy, I guess. This is not a vintage toy. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, is it? Toy flintlock. Um, oh, yeah, I saw the exact model on Amazon. There it is. <laughs> but the silver paint was I never, coming I off. I never saw the um, when bandana I up, when I picked it up last year. And I thought maybe we could do something with it, and with it was all um, flaky and gross. It was gross. nasty. With Steamy having been doing the kissing practice, we masking well, she masking taped up this one, 
and sprayed the metallic bits a gunmetal grey and I really like how it's turned out. Yeah. I think that should be about... I really like how these bits pop. Yeah, they do really mm. send out. Okay. One last well, hat. I, yeah, I never noticed the bandana before because yeah. the bandana is the thing that distinguishes... What's it called? The Jolly Roger from the Pirates of the Caribbean Jolly Roger. Okay, so one last thing, technically not relating to this year at all, but with me wanting to get more into practicing my steampunk, you need a box for all your little badges and things. Because I have a selection at this point. It's not finished yet. But we have. But I'm currently in the process of Painting up at least. Yeah. Steampunk in this. A small wooden box bought from a craft shop. Yeah. There's a few of my treasures in it. Yeah. Not finished yet. No. See. Yeah. But oh, there is one last item I need to show. What? Oh, you your hat. My new hat. Okay, your hat. No, not my face. I was just going to actually take the hat off. I know, head. I'm not. I'm going to put it down here. <sighs> it's a great face you've got there, Valencar. Ooh, so red and amazing. I have purchased. Da, 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 da. For next year's costume, where I'm being a witch slash wizard I need to stretch my leg it's in a great deal of pain you can't see my footsie hello your feet are gross anyway it's a hat Thank you. from a website called artisan realms which specializes in non-brand specific wizard gear and magic stuff so i have been wearing this hat for a while today because i'm trying to get it to fit my gigantic head Slytherin! Oh, we are on a bed for you. Come here, I ask. Where's it? Ew! No! Take it, take it. Just don't. No. That's my hat. I like my hat. Yeah. It goes back on my head now. Um, it has a metal wire in the, in the brim, so I can kind of shape it out of the way. I was showing the towel, but I don't need to explain why there's a towel on the bed. No, you don't. <laughs> That's, that's our business. <laughs> People wish to, wish to uh, have their conspiracy theories about why there's a towel on our bed. It is a clean, unwet towel. Poison's been down, there's been the smell of decay, and the smell's gone. But every little sound for the past month and a half has had me freaking out. So, somebody yeah. scratching their leg isn't helping. And every time I coughed, I got told I was gonna die! I was concerned you might have the, <laughs> your, um, the pneumonia disease. The reason why it's like pneumonia is because it basically does the same thing as pneumonia. It fills your lungs with liquid, mucus and crap. So you end up all tubed up at a hospital for a few days while you get through it. Yep. And then you're fine, and then yep. you go home and you get on with your life. Except that it has a 15% fatality rate, which is probably in undeveloped countries and in the fragile and vulnerable. Yeah, we do have it. Over here, it's just not. That's common. Yeah, I think. Understandably so. We have, you know, waste disposal services and shit. Mm. But in other countries, it might not be so. Yeah. I mean, we've eradicated rabies here, I, I believe. We also eradicated wolves, bears, <laughs> and bars. Anything that was of danger to our people went Yeah, extinct. that's because we were a tiny island. Tiny island. It's easy to kill everything on a tiny yeah. island. We sit here so smug it'll take like one decent sized nuclear explosive to get rid of everything. Oh yeah. But we just sit and hope nobody decides to nuke us over Brexit. So. <laughs> oh, Brexit. Anyway, that's our little vo our, yep. our Volg of um asylum loot. Yep. A quick explanation of what happened and why we've been so absent. Yeah. And I take it and also uh, Sonia is now back at school. Yep, she's back so at school. School days. We have more time for recording and editing and doing stuff. 
So we will now be able to get back on to fulfilling your yeah. need for entertainment. Yes, 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 yes. I actually can't wait. I've kind of missed recording. Yeah, I've, I've But at the same time, I've got so much other stuff done. <laughs> I've so missed having to spend three hours a day at editing and rendering a video. Yeah, but... Um, what was I going to say? Could you smile? Oh, um... We were contemplating maybe for some of the longer Let's Plays, like the ones that are a few hours long, maybe making episodes longer maybe like an hour or 45 minutes, just so we get through it more. If you think that's a good idea, let me know. If you'd rather me keep them short, also let me know. The other things are, we're probably going to move on and make the episodes longer, just yeah. so we get through more and we're not just wasting Because at, at this point, I'm, be, I'm kind of ending up stuck on games for hours, and in some episodes, I'm not even progressing that far, because... You know, of how the game is. Yeah. Aka Thief. <laughs> Thief takes me like a lot of the times half an hour to get from one end of the city to the other just from having to sneak around and shite. But on the plus side, speaking of longer videos, we've already rolled over the half hour mark yes, for this vlog. <laughs> Sorry guys. Also, if you would like to see a video of me steampunking up a gun slash whatever also, let me know. I wouldn't mind doing a little makers vlog on some of the costume bits I'm crea I create and stuff. I don't do much, but do, do, do. I, last year I did more that dress and everything. Last year you did a lot of crafting, but I'm not sure. Actually, I um, kind of did about the same amount I think because I did a gun up with different bits, having to paint the different bits, and then I did the. You did a Star Trek phaser up for me. You constructed a pit boy out of printed parts. Yeah, true. And you stitched and print and printed onto a dress. Yeah. So I'm gonna say you did more. Yeah, I suppose. Like significantly so. Yeah. I so I keep finding that dress and I keep going, Oh, I wanna wear this as just like a normal thing but you can do. <laughs> People like thinking we're walking around with a friggin' Brotherhood of Steel Mark dress. People wear if they recognise it. People wear Brotherhood of Steel marked hoodies. Oh, true. I meet a fellow Brotherhood. Of, well, I'm not even Brotherhood of Steel. I'm friggin' Railroad. Speaking of which, I, I don't know if you've seen the previous vlog or anything, but I met up with the girl who cosplayed as May again. She was carrying around a fat man. <laughs> as in the launcher. Not just a girthy, overweight male. Uh, it, was nice, it was nice to see her and catch up a little bit. <laughs> if you're watching, contact us. Yeah, if you're watching, contact me. <laughs> oh. But yeah. I just meet up with some random brother, Brotherhood of Steel wear it, hoodies person and be like, Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do you have a Geiger counter? I don't. No, the phrase is oh, yeah, mine's yeah. in the shop. So we yes. could be in railroad, eh? Butthead. Speaking of which, I found when I played it the other day, I found Deacon in. Where did I find him? Diamond City. Diamond City. No! Good neighbour. Might have been Good Neighbour. Yeah. Good Neighbour. I found him there. <laughs> I was like. Deacon! Crops up all over the place before you start doing stuff with him. Once you, once you, real, once you like, know him, you start seeing him. But anyway. Uh, let me know if you want to see me, like, attempt to steampunk up a gun. I ain't that good. It's mostly just spray, gun, spray paint, to be honest. Yeah, true. Masking tape and spray paint and you can get it done. Yeah. I have a gun in the cupboard that we can use. A Nerf yeah. gun. I have one. This isn't America, I don't have a real gun. But yeah. If you want to see me do that, let me know. If you want longer videos or whatever, let me know. Mostly, okay. just talk to us, please. <laughs> or if there's a specific game or whatever you want me to play, also feel free to let me know. Like, comment and subscribe. No. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ring!
Ring my bell. No. That was stupid. <laughs> I, I feel obliged to assault you on behalf of the viewers, but I'm not going to because I'll get arrested. <laughs> Anyway, I'm jiggling around the camera from laughing. Uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry we kind of blabbled a little bit and shite, but... Yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in... Whatever the fuck happens for the next day. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to be picking up first. I still have State of Decay 2 episodes waiting to go out. Holy shit. You're on State of Decay, yeah? <laughs> Y'all can get stated, okay? <laughs> oh, that game. Yeah, we couldn't put we couldn't put out those episodes because the last thing I'd put out was State of Decay, I think. Yeah, and we're trying not to just like bulk upload the same freaking yeah. thing. Well, I will get back to doing something. I don't know, and I will see you tomorrow when a video is uploaded. Bye bye. Farewell, children. Three dog! Ow! Uh, oh, excuse me. That was gross. Yeah, I know. Three dog don't burp. Three dog doesn't even know what a disc is. <laughs>